from the beginning of 2021 to the end we got three volumes year to volume 4 year to volume 4.5 and year to volume 5 and now that this year has come to an end i just really wanted to go back a year we the code community had and talked about it all the amazing experiences the hype the feeling we felt reading those everything so today we talk about all the volumes released this year and which one is the best of them all 25th feb 2021 Year 2 Volume 4 in the second year series was the first most hyped volume and to me it would have been surprising if it wasn't because we believed everything that happened from Year 2 Volume 1 and when I say everything I mean everything was leading up to this volume introducing the new first year characters, the thrill of finding the enforcer, their thought process, their interactions throughout the story and everything pointed to a sole goal dropping out Kiyotaka Ayana Koji and with knowing the white room enforcer hatred against him, it pointed to a big face off in a secluded vicinity. No one in between, just the two of them having a go. Or that's what we imagined. However, at that point, just to give us hope, it was there. The uninhabited island exam, a perfect exam and a perfect place for this likely encounter to happen. With the end of year 2 volume 2, we were left on cliffhanger as the exam was started. But it wasn't until the end of year 2 volume 3 that we saw what we thought was going to be the ultimate face off between the two white rumors that the hype skyrocketed. The image of someone holding a stick to attack was the base that led to all the excitement for year 2 volume 4. The thrill was on another level. And then came year 2 volume 4. We started the year and got the most anticipated year 2 volume 4 on 25th February. And it didn't turn out the way everyone expected. A lot of people were disappointed, not because it was bad, but just because it didn't have that much action that they expected. Situations got resolved in other ways and everything went pretty much normal. Until 25th June 2021. As a classroom of the Elite fan, there is one thing that I can wholeheartedly say was so cool about every light novel volume, which was pretty much everything. But seriously, the thing that always went hard was the goddamn build up that every volume made. And this is exactly what happened with the release of Year 2 Volume 4.5. Being a 0.5 volume, it didn't have any special exam. But was it any less than any other volume with the exam? Absolutely not. This volume was with zero action but what I really liked was the interaction it gave us, a small peek into everyone's character that we know up to now and how they are handling things now. It made us realize how much of a way we came forward from the last uninhabited island. Every character just felt more mature and you just feel immersed in the story. It never felt like anything was unnecessary, everything just made us curious for the next volume. I would go even as far as to say that this volume felt more heavy and more filled than volume 4 in some aspects. This revived the hype that we had during year 2 volume 4, although it was just a fraction of what it was in the past. And as I said before that year 2 volume 4 was the volume where everything was leading up to and that was the reason that people were excited. Something similar happened with this volume too. The teacher's past, something that was teased a lot and something which was brewing in the backstage for a long time finally was about to come in action, which we knew could change a lot. And it did. Year 2 Volume 5 On October 25th, 2021, Year 2 Volume 5 was released and before reading it, all I wanted was some thrilling moments, some cool scenes, bit of action here and there to have fun. But what I didn't expect it was one of the best things I've read all year. Every build up to this volume was perfectly executed, all the teachers past trauma, the consequences, their effects, everything was in place which made it the most popular and most liked volume in second year by everyone. Sure, it did have some scenes that we wish would never happen and that is proof that we just did not read it but we lived in it. We lived in that tension, in that heavy environment that was surrounded in Ainakoji's class, wondering how it's gonna play out or what is going to happen. Listening to the reveal as we were sitting in the classroom at that very moment and feeling all the emotions from confusion to thrill to sadness. It was a fun ride this year and it ended off perfectly with a bittersweet taste and I had a lot of fun and I hope you do too. So now, which one of the volume was the best volume of the year? At this point, it's not that hard to choose. I think you had already guessed it. It is the well-deserved year to volume 5. 
this volume just totally deserve it. I know I hadn't talked a lot about this volume and that is because I will make a separate video on this because there is a lot to unpack. In the end, if I have to say something about this year for Classroom of the Elite, I would say this year changed Classroom of the Elite as we have known it till now. There is no more Ayanakoji group. Ayanakoji is now not a student that was mostly ignored by most people in his class. He is in the spotlight now, which will change the way we were experiencing Classroom of the Elite. I hate to say it, but this change is a terrific reminder to us all that Classroom of the Elite is ongoing and it just hurts me. This is also the only bad thing every volume has and that is it's ongoing and changing because just like every other good thing, it will end too. I know I will be late but have a happy new year everyone.